everybody, this is Kelly Helen from Divinity Designs. We will be showing you some fall products along with a variety of our folded cards. The folded cards, dies, can be found on our website under dies, then 3D and folded card dies. I'm sure you're going to love them. First, we're going to show you virtually some of our fall stamps and dies. Since many of our samples are still on our boards, packed away in our trailer, we don't have access to them, so we'll show you them here on your screen. So let's get started with our folded card dies. The first die today is the side step with layers. This is the side step that pops out. You can see that it also has all your layers so that you could decorate it with designer paper. Here's what the, it looks like, which is plain paper. It'll cut out like this. You'll add your different layers. And here's how you do the fold. You show you sideways. And we show it on the packaging. Mountain, valley, mountain, valley, mountain. And the one that sticks out, the pop out, is mountain. Once that's folded, you just decorate it. I'll show you some samples. My first sample uses our new Festive Fall Slimline Pad that will be coming out September 1st. That's a little sneak peek. This is also a quilted leaf die that we are releasing soon. So you can see how I've decorated it. Another sneak peek of a sunflower die we have coming out. So you can see how you add all your different embellishments. This does fold into an A2 size and will fit into an A2 envelope. This is a very old card, but it is definitely a favorite. This is using our Sunflower Stamp Die Duo. Here's a beautiful Christmas card. Umbrella and clouds, nice spring daffodils. They do, they sit on the table. Nice teacher card. We have a nice teacher selection of stamps and dies. For the little ones in your life, a cute set called Rocket Man. This is called Some More Fun. Little Monsters. Tool chest card. We have two different tool die sets. And then Psalm 23 and some of our Terry's Papillion butterfly dies and stamps. You could add large, large dies to the front. You don't have to follow it exact. See, it does stick out over, but that's okay. It'll still fit into your A2 card. There you go for sidestep card with layers. And here we have the trifold with layers die. This die will cut your base and all your layers. All the layers are inside. We always get the directions for folding. M is mountain, pointing up. V is valley, pointing down. So here it is, just plain paper. And you can see the folds, the valley and the mountain folds. Folds up, it's A2 sized. And here I have some samples. First we'll start off with our fall cards. This is an older one, but I just love it. It's our flower cart. Apples. Another faith. Christmas. This is a, one of our brand new lighthouse sets. We have a nice music selection with lots of music stamps and dies in the Notable Notes paper pad. Good one for Father's Day. This is a die from our April Blessings Box sub subscription kit. Be sure to check that out. It's an older Christmas card, but I just love it. This one, we added a background die to the front. So it looks a little different, but it's the same card. 
because I just love this paper here. You can use these dies for any occasion. These baby cards. And unfortunately, we do need sympathy cards in our life. But this is a beautiful card to send someone. It's always fun to send somebody a hug in the mail. Very simple, just using some paper in one, in one of our dies. They don't have to be all layered like crazy. Another get well. And then a nice birthday card. And there you have the trifold with layer. Next up is our center step dies. We have center step with layers and center step A2. The center step with layers requires a five and three quarter inch square envelope to mail. It's larger. And then the A2 fits into the A2 envelope. The advantage of the larger die is you can fit more items on the front of your card. You have more room for decorating. Whereas the A2 is a little thinner. I'll show you some samples. So you can see by size, the difference between the regular center step and the center step A2. First, I'll show you the center step. These are some dies that are in our April blessings box. You could read about our blessings box on the website. Easter. That one's just gorgeous. This is an older one, but it's using our, our gate die. Just love this one. This one is using our Grill Master Stamp Die Duo. And you can see when the recipient receives them, they fit right on their, their counter. Displays very nicely. It's a nice graduation. Christmas. And another Christmas. Now I'll show you the center step A2. So you can see they're just a little narrower. Just as pretty, you could still add a lot. Let's open a little to show you some dimension. That's our new footsteps stamp die duo. And of course, the ever popular birthday. Here's a birthday for a nurse. Love this one too. Beautiful flowers. And finally, love the little added fence on the bottom. And that's our center step with layers and center step A2 with layers. This is the tri shadow with layers. And as always, we give you the folding directions so you know how to put the card together. So here we have it, which is the, the cardstock. You can see how it folds, the mountains and the valleys, and then it folds into an A2 card. Let's start off with our fall card. This is our Sunflower Stamp Die Duo. We have a volleyball card. We have lots of sports stamp sets on the website just one of our patriotic paper pads on the website. We do have a lot of patriotic stamps. Of course, we honor our veterans. Here's an older card and you could see they've added extra layers. So you can use the layers that come with the die and you can also hand cut if you wanted additional layers. This is a beautiful card and we do have a lot of quilting and sewing cards samples on our website. Just look for the stamp sets and the dies, and you'll find the samples underneath. The beautiful wedding card. Another patriotic card. And finally, we have this beautiful Christmas card. That's the Tri Shadow with Layers die.
Next is our double display with layers die set. Once again, you receive the base and all the layers. They're all inside the sections so that you could layer your card. People are often really intimidated by this card, but as long as you just cut everything, you just put it together. It folds into an A2 card. First, we have this baby card. A tool card. So you can see when they open them, what a great surprise this is. How adorable is that? Another patriotic card. I just love these paper pads. This one is just gorgeous. And a Christmas card. And that's the double display with layers. This next die is called Half Shutter Cards with Layers. And it's similar to the Tri Shutter, except the third section is full sized. So it gives you a little bit more room to add a verse or some more dies or to more of a message area than the Tri Shutter. Let me show you that. So you can see the full panel on the right. You still have some fun fold and dimension on the left. Let me show you some samples. This is from our new raspberry set. Spring tulips. And graduation. Using our large numbers and graduation cap. Our star sets. This one's using one of our stencils. Giant boss stencil and then used inks on the left side. Here's another sample with some stencils in our apple set. One of our apple verses. And here's two cards showing the cards fold it in the opposite direction where they use the full panel on the front with the lemons. And here another one with peaches. And that's the half shutter with layers die. Our next folded card die is called Diorama with Layers. This is another folded card and this one you receive your choice of the square or the oval to use along with the layers and there are instructions inside as well as you could check out our YouTube channel. It lays flat for the envelope which does require a larger envelope than A2. Sizes are listed and when you open it up you could see the diorama and that's where you put all your different pieces. Let me show you some samples. First one is the barn and the farm animals, farm fence. And you can see how those were layered inside on the divider die. Here's a sand castle. The curvy die was used for the sand dunes. City skyline die. This is called Great Joy and the Bethlehem die. Neighborhood border. And the brick gate. Here's some dies from our April Blessings box. Another neighborhood border. Bethlehem. 
Another great joy. There's two layers of neighborhood border. And another city skyline, whoops. That's the diorama with layers. Next up, we have the Z Fold with layers die. This die also contains the extra dies that you will need to add your layers to the front and inside of your card. Let me show you. So here you have it folded up. That's open inside. Here's the back. So if you would use all the dies, two of them would be backwards for your layers. So you would have a rough edge and we like it when the edges look nice and smooth and fresh, like those edges. It just gives the card a nice appearance. So we added those extra dies so that you could add them for the inside and outside of your card once it's open. Here's a few card samples. Here we have with the barn and silo and the farm fence, farm friends. Isn't that wonderful? Here we have another barn card with the farm friends, all the farm friends. And here's a nice Christmas card with our pickup truck dies. This has a little surprise in it. This is our Christmas tree tabletop home decor die. And Dawn has cut out the bottom of it, with about half of it off, so she could have a little tree inside. And that's the Z Fold with Layers die. This next die is called Lover Card with Layers. It's really large and it seems like it's pretty complicated, but it's not. You'll get everything to make the card, including the layers. First thing you'll do is die cut the front and back die and the inside die. You'll fold them and score them per the instructions. Turn them over, then you'll add your adhesive. This adhesive is only added to the first section and the last section. You also want to add adhesive to only half of your square. I've removed my adhesive. I'll line up the left side. And then the right. Pull forward in the center, fold it, and then you apply your square to this section. And there you have the lever card. Here I have it with layers. And now I'll show you some samples. These are real wow cards and everyone just loves them. Christmas card. Easter with the bunny. Christmas with an angel. So you can see how you just mix and match your papers. And this one's cute because Lisa decorated the back also. Make monogram cards. Here's our new lighthouse set. These balloons are from our July Blessings Box Kit, along with our geometric paper pad. Jingle bells. Love this card. We get a lot of compliments on this one. The turtles. And this one, the brother set. That's a lover card with layers. This is our triple step with layers. It's a little different because it has three sections. It's still A2 sized. And here it is 
cut out with the layers. And you can see it for dimension. And I have some card samples. Most of our card samples are Valentine's, because that's when our, the die came out this February. You could add other shapes to it. Here, Dawn cut the heart. So when closed, you see the full heart. When open, it splits it. Some cute heart dies. The elephant from one of our mini sets. The deer from one of the mini sets. The Be My Valentine die. And then this one uses dies from our April Blessings box. That's our subscription kit. And you sign up for four quarterly boxes and they come automatically to you. Once you're a member, you can buy past Blessings boxes. So you could still purchase the April's Blessings box. Here we have the stair step pop out with layers die. You receive the pop out die along with the layers. You will need an A2 card base to complete this card. You could hand cut it or you could use our A2 landscape card base with layers to cut your card base. Once you cut them out, you'll have your card base. Here's the pop out die. You follow the scores to fold on the steps. When adhering to your card, first you'll do the left side. When you get to the right, you'll push that in so that you have a nice border around the entire lip pop out feature. You only use adhesive on this section and on this section so that the stairs can pop out. Once the layers are added, then you could decorate. And here's some samples with our stair step pop out with layers die. A beautiful wedding card. Music using our piano die and our guitar die. Notable notes paper pad. The beautiful graduation. You could see Lisa added a pocket here to add a gift card. Christmas. Beautiful flower tropical card. Another graduation. Wild and free. Beautiful flowers on that. Valentine. Lisa made this for her husband, Jim. This one's beautiful with our watercolor paper pad. It's for her daughter-in-law. Kathy made this wonderful card for a crafty friend. And here we have the stair step pop out with layers. Sorry, I've just about run out of time for today, but while you're on the website, I want you to make sure to check out a few other cards that don't have time for a full presentation. Belly Band, Cascade Card with Layers, Book Fold with Layers, Four Panel Card with Layers, and our newest, with the belly band is our accordion card with layers. Thanks for joining. See you next time. Bye-bye.